Hello World, from Palo Alto City Library. Libraries are taking on a role of being guides to the future. Uh, I can show you where the restroom is, where the, uh, the books are, where the uh, meeting room is, and where the computers are at the library. We uh, received a PLP, Pacific Library Partnership Grant, Innovation Grant, um, to uh, try new experimental services at the library to see um, you know, how the public uh, would receive them and see what kind of future possibilities might be available for libraries. Um, and so as part of that grant, we uh, purchased a, a Beam uh, robot, which is kind of like a screen on wheels. Uh, it's kind of like a remote uh, like web presence, like meeting presence um, device. So you can, you can sort of roll into a meeting even though you're sitting behind a computer. So we purchased a Beam. We also purchased um, this computer here, uh, which we built in-house um, for the purposes of uh, 3D design and uh, 3D printing. And then we also purchased a Now robot, which is a small humanoid robot um, that you can program um, using a choreograph software. It's a uh, it's a, a programming suite um, that lets users uh, use a WYSIWYG, sort of uh, very easy drag and drop uh, programming interface uh, to create programs. Um, and then so then through this we would be sort of teaching people how to program but also engage them in new and interesting ways. And so the whole, the whole package of, of uh, experimental technologies in the library is to test these in the library environment, see how um, they're received by the public. And, um, and, and sort of come up with new ideas for the future. So yeah, so we're trying a pajama story time with the robot tonight. So we're gonna have the now robot come out and do some movements and dancing and tell a story to children, small children who are coming in their pajamas. So we're excited about trying that out. These ideas, um, the 3D printing has been something that we've been doing for a while um, and we wanted to sort of enhance that service. Right now we just have the 3D printers um, available for checkout essentially. People can come in and they get a slot of time where they can try printing something. Um, but what we wanted to do is allow people to learn a little bit more about the design process of printing those objects learning how to use the software, learning about the issues that come up when you're designing something for 3D printing. So this is an airplane that one of our volunteers created himself um, and it's quite detailed. It's got parts of the the engines are, are actually there and um, it's quite detailed and uh, so he, print, he designed this and printed this here so it's pretty cool. Even, even in Silicon Valley where you know we're in the center of of the tech world, um, a lot of people aren't involved in that on a daily daily basis, and even those that are, maybe they only know their small niche of technology, but they don't know about this other thing, and so they're kind of curious to try it out. So you know, whether you're talking about 3D printing or robots or virtual reality or uh, online security and privacy, the library can sort of help bring experts in and sort of bring in the technology for the community to try out and, and learn about. A lot of other stuff that we've got our eye on that we're you know, looking at towards in the future to, to bring into the library to sort of uh, let people try it and let people learn about it. So you know, keep an eye out, we're gonna be doing some cool stuff.